Outside the Forecast on WTHR Plus is sponsored by LCS Heating and Cooling. Welcome to Outside the Forecast. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. You know, as we go through the winter months, you often hear us talk about during a weather forecast, the air temperature, but also that wind chill temperature and the wind chill actually has uh, quite a bit of importance for folks who have to be outside for kids out of the bus stops, waiting for the bus, things like that. Now the wind chill is important because this can help predict how quickly a cold related illness could develop. But what exactly is the wind chill value and how is it calculated? Let me explain. Air temperature is the official reading you see on your thermometer, but it's measured in a sheltered spot and tells you exactly how warm or cold the air is. No wind, no sunshine, no extra factors, but wind chill, that's where things get interesting. Wind chill takes other factors into consideration and gives us a more realistic view of how cold it actually feels on your skin once you factor in the wind. You see, when the wind blows across exposed skin, it strips away the thin layer of warm air your body naturally produces. The stronger the wind, the faster your body loses heat and the colder you'll feel. The wind chill value is important because it can let us know how quickly a cold related illness could settle in. Check out this chart from the National Weather Service. I'll back out so you can see the whole thing. We can take into consideration the air temperature as well as the wind speed and plug it into this chart that they've created very scientifically and that can give us a good estimate on how quickly things like frostbite or hypothermia can settle in. Check it out. If we've got an air temperature of zero and a wind that's going to increase, let's say 30, 35 miles per hour, that puts us in that wind chill zone in the minus 20, 25 degree range. And you can see in the purple that could create frostbite within 30 minutes. The colder the air temperature and the stronger the wind, we plug those numbers into this long algorithm and it actually helps to tell us exactly how long it could potentially take for those cold related illnesses to settle in. But how was this in depth algorithm developed? The current formula for wind chill was updated in 2001 after the National Weather Service assisted in clinical trials where human volunteers were exposed to various temperatures and winds in a wind tunnel. And with thermal sensors, they measured that heat loss from their faces. The rate of heat loss is now the accepted way to calculate the wind chill effect. Since the effect applies to heat loss only, it only works for people and animals. Inanimate objects cool to the air temperature, but not the wind chill. And as mentioned, it is important because it can be used as a safety tool. Check this out. The wind chill warns us of dangers like frostbite and hypothermia, showing how quickly exposed skin can be impacted. Now, it's still important to know the signs and the symptoms of these cold related illnesses. So let's break down two that are the most common. First, frostbite. It can cause numbness or a tingling sensation within your skin and change the skin color such as red, purple, blue or even brown. Also, the texture of the skin becomes cold, hard and waxy. No hypothermia. This can occur when the body temperature falls below 95 degrees and this is an emergency situation. Symptoms of hypothermia include confusion, drowsiness, slurred speech and shivering, as well as a weak pulse. Now this particular chart here shows the coldest wind chill that we could potentially calculate would be 98 below, but we've actually measured a wind chill colder than that. In fact, the lowest wind chill ever recorded in the US was 108 degrees below zero at Mount Washington, New Hampshire back in 2023. That was an air temperature of 47 below and 100 mile per hour winds. Again, this happened back on February 4th, 2023 during an extreme Arctic blast. You know, our own Chuck Lofton actually visited the peak of Mount Washington. Check out what he found. From this to this in just three miles. Welcome to Mount Washington home of some of the world's most extreme weather and maybe the most unique way of reaching a summit. This is not Amtrak. This is not a freight train. This is one of the most unusual locomotives that anybody will ever see. How do you train for this? 
with over 150 years of history here, we have some processes uniquely adapted to this line, this equipment, and this mountain. Sylvester Marsh came up with this idea in 1852. He was called crazy, but the Cog Railway did get built. The first of its kind in the world. The train continues the steep climb up the mountain's western slope to this day. You know, you started your morning on the train. Maybe a little damp, some nice fall colors. Different ecological zones with our vegetation. Okay, we have entered the alpine zone. And as you came up to the summit, wow. We have the weather in Mount Washington living up to its reputation. Wow. Tim, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Wow. Welcome to the North Pole, not Mount Washington. Extreme wind chills and hurricane force winds are common here. That's why the summit has its own weather observatory. So Hayden, you've spent the last three years of your life in Norway and now moved here. Yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I like the cold. <laughs> you do like the cold, so it's a perfect place to be, right? It is, yeah. The conditions up here are actually really similar to where I was living above the Arctic Circle. Oh my gosh. Observers here take live weather readings. Watch your head coming through right here. Outside, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here soon, we're gonna expect 100 plus mile per hour winds every three or four days or so. Workers here endure brutal conditions. To ensure visitors get this once in a lifetime experience. What's your best pitch for people coming to Mount Washington? Why should they come? It is a uniquely special place here. It is the crown jewel of New Hampshire. An iconic mountain full of rich history and some of the most fascinating weather and conditions that are accessible through the Mount Washington Cog Railway that uh, other places people cannot get to. Bottom line, we tell you the wind chill temperature and the wind chill values because it's important for those who are going to be outside with exposed skin. It'll help you prevent those cold related illnesses knowing what that wind chill value is. But keep in mind, if you cover up all of your exposed skin on these cold days, like by wearing gloves, scarves, hats, all of that good stuff, then you're actually not going to experience that wind chill effect. And you're drastically going to reduce your risk of things like frostbite, and hypothermia. Stay safe this winter season. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Outside the Forecast on WTHR Plus is sponsored by LCS Heating and Cooling.